Hey guys, I'm having a like wicked tough time staying focused right now. So I was hoping making a video would help me. I don't know, I think maybe I should just go eat some food or something. So yeah. I don't know what to eat. Well, I gotta go downstairs and eat. No, that's the first step. I'll be back. Yeah, so it's really hard. I don't know how the heck I'm going to do this today. I wanted to get focused on the ADSR envelopes design. And I had an idea where, uh, well, let's begin. Okay, so just like this, so the attack, right? You would you would see a button that says um, AR, and you could click it, and then a drop down box would show up, nice and snappy, and it would say like for you know all the seconds that you can choose for your attack time. So that in alone, you know that in itself is something I would like to just see if I can implement on the instrument window for now. So... Maybe put it in its own class. That way I can have an easier time kind of putting it into the actual tracker interface. So the first thing would be a map for int to string, so a little struct. Um, it could even just be a map, but I, it could be a standard map. I'm wondering, are standard maps slower than just straight structs? Like, you know what I'm saying? like an array of structs that are the map, like they have the int in the, in the string, I don't know. Wouldn't worry about that, I'll just pick one and go with it. Use a standard map. So I'm gonna be in the instrument window. And I'm just going to devise a um, struct called int to string, except I'm using a, a map now, so forget that. And the MIDI, MIDI.cpp has a good example of this standard map right here. So I can take that and learn from it. Just throw it at the bottom. I'll just say ADSR stuffs. And we'll call this the, I don't know. For now, I'll just call it attack map. This sh it should be in like a, uh, its own like little struct. Organize it. And I'll just call it ADSR, I guess. We'll have another map. For the decay. Um, so I guess this is what? Sustain level? SL.
Maybe we can, we can learn more about this on Fullsness. Shouts to no cache for this document. Boundary. Well, it's definitely sustained level. The boundaries needs to be experimented with. And this is time from 1 to 0, not 0 to 1. You know what I mean. So this stuff should be static. How can you kind of statically initialize a standard map? I'm going to go and look at that. Like, So this guy suggests to use arrays, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. But here's what I was looking for. but I can do the same thing without a map and I guess get better performance. So what we'll do is I want to make a struct in utility. It's not really a good place for it, but it's the best place that pre-exists. And I just want to make a struct, call it int to stir which is kind of misleading, you know, standard string, but it's going to be a char star. So maybe int to char star. <laughs> That's more accurate. And we'll define it right here. So int i It's pretty basic right there. So maybe we can use this I feel like it's it's it helps to be able to customize the name, but you know for now I'll just use I and stir. Gonna have to make sure I include utility now. And now I'm going to use And usually I have to specify the array size 
but I'm gonna just do that after I fill it up or you know I know that it'll be 16 so basically we'll just have 0 there, we'll put this to the side, put this to the right, and what's that little control K, control B to get the side thing out? So let's zoom in here. I want to have like a little template. Let me make a little template. One point five. One Now this is going to be milliseconds new template. Actually, this would be an even better template, just like this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, F. Six hundred and forty, three hundred and eighty, two hundred and sixty, ninety six, sixty four, forty, I could have done that easier. Forty, twenty four, sixteen, ten, and did I miss one? Looks like I missed one. Three eighty, two sixty, I did one, so one sixty. This is eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Two sixty, one sixty, ninety six, sixty four, forty, twenty four, sixteen, ten, six, zero. So that's the while I'm here, I might as well just do them all. So now we'll do the decay decay map, which is eight equals Make a little template. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four forty. Two hundred and ninety. One hundred and eighty. One hundred and ten. Seventy four. Thirty seven. 
what else? Sustain level. That's another eight. Um, we don't even need milliseconds here, so. That should be the template. Three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to keep it like that. Or I could just say one. Take out these commas. And then the sustain release. has this many 32 zero one two three four five six seven eight 16, 24, 32. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 28, oops, 30, 31, 32. Okay. Space, 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 space. Infinite. 38 seconds. So let's get a little thing going on here, I guess. Yes. I don't like that. You know what I can do? I can just. This goes on until the 16th, including the 16th. There we go. So 38, 28, 24, 19, 14, 12, 9.4, 7.1, 5.9, 4.0, 4.0, 1.8, you know, I could just, no, no, I'm just going to copy it manually. 1.5, 1.2, now we got the MSs going on, so let's, A80, 370, 290, 220, 180, 150, did I miss one? 110, 92, 74, 55, you know if I make mistakes, 37, which I totally made a mistake. Now I gotta go back and do the check. 38, 28, 16, that's right. Oops. Oops! I wanna get this 
matched a little better here. Oh, I did this right. I just I included a 30 second entry. Okay. Beautiful. I like that C plus plus eleven just poof, initialize. Or whatever. So this stuff should go into like an ADSR. Should be like a namespace. I mean, this is definitely not local to this class. This has got to go out. So I'm just going to make a little file called ADSR. Well, touch ADSR.h. Don't really know what I'm going to do with them yet, but we'll see. Definitely you don't want them to be in a struct like that. I mean, where do I? How do I have this? Oh, it's just got to be static. The weird thing is like with the static is that you can't initialize them in the declaration, so you're gonna have to do that in the implementation file. It really doesn't matter if, if it's a struct or a namespace. In the in what I'm doing, it don't matter to me, I tell you that much. So that's you know, it's what it is. So since I can't do that, I'm going to have to take this stuff, go to the CPP, and you know, just don't even have to really include anything, just go to BAM, and then say ADS, uh, no, 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 no. We need to include the utility header file. We need to take the static crap away. We need to do that. Do a search for static and kill it. Nope, I don't like that. Do another search for static space and kill it. Good. Very good. And then we include the utility dot h and then we must include adsr dot h and include adsr dot h now now we need a way to parse we should include some functions to do the parse. Hmm. Something like I don't know parse attack. Maybe we can return an int. We could even return the church door. We could get out. Don't get ahead of ourselves. We just parse the attack for now.
I leave these at the top. Exit no. I pound include adsr.h. Go to adsr.h and then I will do something else like pound include sdr.h, which is probably already included from the utility. But we include it anyway to be careful and we use these because they're nice. Okay, what's next? Parse attack. Oh, yes. Char star ADSR parse attack. I wish it was more informative. Mm, bleh. No. Four spaces. I like two. Now, what shall we do next? Oh, this has got to get reformatted, yo. Now, we must parse, we will take in the reference. I like taking in references, but during the prototyping stage, we never really know. So I won't do that yet. We'll take in this 8-bit value, which will be the ADSR1, which has the attack and the decay. We see that the first four bits are the attack. So, we will parse the first four bits. So we end it with 0f. Do we even have to end it? Yes, we must. So, u in 8. Or we can just literally do something like we'll always use a copy. Yes, very good. Well, I was thinking, you know, we could just operate on ADSR1, but if I pass by reference in the future, we need to make sure that we don't modify it. Um, that's really not what we're trying to do there. So we make a copy. And this is a copy in itself, but we just use another copy. So it's a little inefficient. But not really, man. Just get over it and code your example. So, yes, we have the attack now. And we can return... Very well. Now, though, now we've parsed the attack. I think it would be it would be better to return the index. We can do, we can do more with an index. Hmm. Just do them both for now because we have no idea what we really want to do. So we'll use overloading functions. In this one, we will return. We could go ahead and do the rest. Mm. 
and 7 is good so let's do the decay map Well, first of all, hmm, there is this precautionary measure here where the we need to check if these eighty star or, or gain is active. Which one is active? So that'll be happening later. We'll do that stuff later. So we're gonna end it with seventy. That's fine. I'll be right back. So I need to end with 70. And also, I'm thirsty. Take a little break. The decay stuff. And now, sustain. Sustain level. Sustain release. Just copy this. Paste it right here. And then replace the word attack with sustain level. This is my convention I should stick to. Okay, ADSR attack map. That's not what I care about. Let's look at the sustain level. What is, what is this? This is inaccurate. So the release is... How many bits? I need to annotate this PDF. The release goes up to this. So the sustain is the top three bits. We need to do a little drawing here. Oh god, what did I just do? I want to draw. I want to draw a line. I don't care if it's an arrow. I just wanted to make that clear. But I don't really want an arrow, so. No, just a straight line. Just from here to here. Perfect. Why don't we make it black while we're at it? Make it look the, like the original, huh? Okay, there we go. Good enough. So, yep, the top three bits. So we were doing, what, sustain level. So we got to do the top three bits, which should be E. E, zero. 
So this is actually and E0. And then we got to write shift. So we will write shift 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is ADSR2. And uh, you know, we're just developing the prototype, but it might be better to take in the uh, the entire ADSR as a 16-bit value. It's be easier to work with. I don't know what I'm, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. So we're just developing. Let's get rid of all these. Next up is the sustain. Sustain release is just going to be an and, no bit shift. 1F. Okay. Why don't I kill this video? This is a good, decent video.